What's going on, Flix Talkers and Flix Talk patrons? We are going to check out 2011's Red Dog. Now, this was a Patreon pick for the month of March by an amazing Flix Talk family member, JT. Thank you so much for suggesting this one, buddy. As I know nothing about this movie, even when I looked it up. I still didn't know anything about this movie, never heard of it. Though I believe I have seen the main actor in something else. Either way, not knowing a thing about a movie is the best way I like to go into these films so you guys get my genuine and honest reaction along the way. But I can tell you with certainty, kill everyone on screen except animals. Don't mess with animals, man. I grew up a dog owner even though I have cats. I love my cat mochi. But once again, you don't hurt animals in film. It's just like one of those unwritten rules. We just have this emotional attachment with creatures that can defend themselves. And for me, that's one of the reasons why you don't do it. So I hope it doesn't have any parts like that in this film. But once again, my genuine and honest reaction and thoughts along the way, guys. So enough talking, let's get to watching. But before we do, if you guys want to show love, make sure to always hit that big thumbs up and leave your comments along the way, whether you guys are watching this for the first time, whether you guys have seen this. Let me know you guys' favorite parts of the film. And without further ado, let's get into this month's Patreon pick, 2011's Red Dog. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to mention, I believe this is, yeah, in Australia. Shouts out JT too, one of our Flix talkers all the way from South Australia. Great cinema out there. Hello? Never heard a bar that quiet. That's not a good sign. Hey, 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 you! <gasps> oh no! So what's wrong with the dog? Faded strychnine? Or would anyone want to poison a dog? Maybe someone set it out for the ruse or the dingoes. Someone just doesn't like dogs, you know? Yeah, there are people. Are you his master? No, no, he has no master. That's not just any dog in there, you know? No? He's probably the most famous dog in all Australia. Red dog. Yeah, the one that warned those people about no. that fire. No, no, no. The one that uh, saved that child. No, no, not him, wrong dog. What was that Lassie he's talking about? <laughs> it's not what he did, it's who he was. Back in the mean old days when men were men, dogs were dogs. Rougher, hotter, brighter, redder. Redder. It's gonna be one of those type of movies, how huh? we get a flashback. Well, I don't wanna know that the dog is gonna die! What's that? What's what? It's a dog. What's it doing out here? Oh. That is a cool looking dog. I don't know what breed that is, but it looks cool. I like short hairs. Hello? Are you lost? Do you need water? <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're my new owners. All right, this ain't my first rodeo. Is that the dog? Well, certainly not me. <laughs> oh, Lord, what did that thing Stop eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, where's he at? They put him in the way, way back. <laughs> Dampier. Western Australia. Okay. Oh, 1971. I didn't know this was a period piece. <laughs> oh, that poor little bugger. <laughs> oh my god, bright red. Oh, good day, Rick. He's out the back. Right on. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to be jumping back and forth. Okay. A dog of a certain type can do well in a lonely town. I come from a small little village in Italy. The Brutes. Here we go. There we go. Why'd you leave? Same as all these fools. Money. They come from everywhere. From all the countries they come. Uh, from Poland, New Zealand, Ireland, Greece, Latvia, America, even Melbourne. Interesting. Even Melbourne. Oh, I just caught that. That's funny. <laughs> He might just fly away. 
Oh, he didn't like those words. You two be needing an hit. You Tyson. You alone too, Mr. Doggy. But you're happy. You have a gift, Mr. Doggy. Have you ever heard of a Brutzi? <laughs> Red Dog's a good listener, huh? What can I say? He was an excellent listener. <laughs> that is a gift. That is a gift to some. Betrayal. Hey! Are you talking to my dog? Your dog? <laughs> How is he your dog? I talk to him first. That doesn't make him your dog, mate. That just makes you weird. <laughs> Why don't we let him decide? <laughs> let him decide. Whose doggy are you? <laughs> oh, he's after someone else. You little red dog, aren't you? Aren't you a good dog? A dog for everyone. Come here, boy. Bellissimo. Boy. Come here. Doi ji. Doi but no one in particular. That is until he met his true master. True master. Good music so far. This guy I've seen. I don't know on what, but I've seen him. I've never seen a dog so free. Like the earth is his turf, man. Like he, wow, this is really cool. That's his move. <laughs> what a clever dog. Did you see that? He almost got run over. He was hitchhiking, mate. Once you pick him up, remember, he thinks it is his right to demand a ride anytime. <laughs> He's like, John, you are next. I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to fit on here when we're riding, but I'll hang on, buddy. Come on, get off my bike. Go on, go on, get. <laughs> no ride for you today, Red Dog. Ha <laughs> ha. dog's on the bus. He understood that. God, Australia looks beautiful. I, I'm i very uncultured when it comes to stuff like this, you know? But what I'm seeing, it looks a lot like parts of America that I've seen, but you know, it's its own thing. Only thing I know about it is the crazy damn spiders and big ass animals that JT always tells us about. <laughs> Wow, this is a very expressive dog, too, like... Nine point two seconds! Damn, he's the quick eater. What's next? Something harder! <laughs> Alive! <laughs> He's like, get me out of here. Enough! We'll let Red Dog eat a live chicken for your sick amusement. What's it to you, huh? Says who? I do. Oh, he got mad? Red Dog, come. Games are over. Come on, boy. We ride together now.
and our journey begins. And from that day on, Red Dog had a master. I'm still getting used to all the doors and the steering wheel on the opposite side of the car. <laughs> Down. Bad dog. This is my birth girl. No one sit there when the red sit there. Stop that. Oh! <laughs> you push it off. Stop that. Now be a gentleman and move over. Now. Oh. He's like, this woman ain't playing. Okay. Hello. Hello. Nancy. I feel like I've seen her too. So, give it another minute or two to air out, boys. Wouldn't want anyone to get sick from the fumes. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna say, which fumes are those? The red dog fumes. Oh, I need to borrow the wagon so I can take the new girl to the movies. We'll have a right buddy. We will, won't we, Red? Thanks, Pete. See you, Red. That's how it gets wild, huh? <sighs> yeah, put some shorts on. It's in his mouth. <laughs> oh, baby. Hello, kitty. Oh. oh, hey, hey, go on, take off. Red cat was an horrendous. Red cat? <laughs> so there's red dog, red cat. I wonder if red has another meaning, like red means angry or. I don't know, because that cat was obviously not red. <laughs> That's cool, a little driving makeshift. <laughs> that Jaws? Hi, it's my dog. <laughs> He's like, I want to watch. <laughs> And not the movie. Mr. Never lived more than two years in the same place. Why are you calling me a shark? Nah, you got me wrong. Moving is part of my romantic nature. You're just scared. Scared? What? I think something worth staying in one place for. Mm-hmm. Takes a good woman to figure out something like that. Because she wants them to stay. It's a real matchmaker, all right? Red Dog is the reason I met my most bella wife. It was the day Red Dog was shot. Red Dog was shot? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, that cat looks a little mangy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, that was funny. No. Oh, what have they done to you? Oh. We have to get into a vet. That's four hours. He got lucky. The bullets missed the bone. Oh, how long we need to stay? Oh, just a couple of hours. <laughs> uh, Red's gonna need to come back in two weeks. Uh, that's a long bloody drive. Well, I could try and take the stitches out for you. No, I will take him. <laughs> idiota, idiota, idiota. He didn't say anything to her? Now three weeks later. This is uh, very dry. I cannot sleep. Oh. 
Wow. Hey, that's love. Big white word. Ugh. <laughs> Red dog. No. <laughs> but that is love to be driving back and forth. Damn near four hours. I wonder, you know, sometime I and you together, maybe. Uh... Are you asking me out? I do. Say what? I, Vincenzo Alberto Girolamo, ask you, Belarosa, out. That was funny. He saved my life once. Yeah, how'd he do that? Everyone that ends up in this part of the country is something they're running away from. We all have a story we left behind. Ten years ago, my wife and girl were killed in an auto accident. Oh. And I was driving. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. That's why he didn't smile anymore. In one fine morning, I woke up and I didn't find it so fine. You can stand a drink for me, pouring nerves from me, throbbing the sky because of Hey, Maurice Jumbo. Throbbing something horrible all night. Yeah. So sad. Wow, so he's going to give up his life to Lord Nelson and go out an honorable death, I guess, or definitely one to tell, talk about, you know, afterwards. No, Red Dog brought the stick out there as a diversion, man. He did save your life. Incredible. Incredible. Wow, everybody's got a story of Red Dog. A gentleman. Four sisters. Wait, where, where is John at? I, uh, all these flashbacks and shit. So whatever happened to them? Hey. Nancy and John. <laughs> yeah, I love this song. So here we go. Nancy and John, let's see what happened. But I'm here to tell you there's something deeper going on here tonight. <laughs> now, I've been in Dampier two years and one day. That is one day longer than I've ever been in any single place my whole life. One reason. One incredibly beautiful reason. I am hopelessly in love with Nancy Gray and I am not afraid to tell the world about it, or her. <laughs> Nancy Jane Gray, will you marry me? John Grant, I will. <laughs> wow, what a way to do it too. Damn, look at all these drunks. <laughs> Red dog, you stay, you hear me? I'll be back in the morning. A beautiful sunrise. Have you seen John? Mm, why? Well, he never showed up for work. Oh, God. He probably went back to sleep, is all. No. I'll, uh, it's early lunch. I'll pop over and take a peek. See that? What? Turn around. 
There's nothing sadder than a lone dog and a dead owner. There's nothing sadder. And I've seen videos like that, like real life videos. It's so sad. With all the sadness and the arrangements for the funeral, everyone forgot about Red Dog. He was still waiting outside John's house. Nancy made an effort to claim him, but he was one master dog. So we waited, in the heat and the cold, day and night. Then one day, Red Dog made a decision. If John wasn't going to come home, then he'd go out in the world and find John. And this is how he became famous. He went everywhere. Heartbreaking. Oh, man, this one's getting me, man. Making me leak. God, his little legs had to be hurting. That he even hitched a ride on an oar ship from Port Hedland. Saganaseki Japan. What? <laughs> After all the looking, the traveling, the grief, I think he finally knew. It was time. Time to come home. It's come to our attention that you're in serious violation of park rules. No dogs allowed. Red Dog is not your average dog, Mr. Kribich. He has privileges. Everybody knows that. You as much as harm a hair on that dog's head, and you will have me and the entire Pilbara to answer to. You've been warned, Miss Gray. Uh oh. So I guess I know who poisoned Red Dog. <laughs> Fight for your right. To be a red dog! <laughs> We're taking it to your door, girl. <laughs> I'll call the police, I will. There's no need, Mr. Cribbage, back here. <gasps> now, Mr. Cribbage, you're just the caretaker. Hammersley owns the land, oh. so what? you want with me? Oh, we just have a small delegation that would like to have a private word with you. It was very civilised and all. All the cribbage just needed was a bit of education. <laughs> education, I love that line. That they ran away and took their caravan with them. Oh, they took off? The only thing they left behind was their cat. What? We all had him registered at the Shire as common. <laughs> God, what are they gonna final fight or are they gonna come to some kind of agreement? Red dog and red cat are coming at us! Place your best gents! This movie is going through so many emotions for me. Chase them out. Chase the red cat out of the park. <laughs> that was wild. Red dog's like, listen here, you ain't coming back to this park unless we're on good terms. 
Nobody knows how or why. They saw more than a bit of themselves in each other. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> know this. Mates they became. Uh, what? I cannot believe this. Oh my god! <laughs> On the road again! Wow, what a way to lift the spirits of John Dine. Insane. This movie is insanity. That unity, that love for community brought Red Dog back to life. Wow. I found him. Oh no. He went to the cemetery. What? Oh. Fuck, man, that hurt. That fucking hurt. Oh, wow, they got a red dog statue? Wow. I mean, that's life, man. Death is a part of life. This is based on a true story? I didn't know that. Did it say that at the beginning? <sighs> that makes it even more special. Based on the book. Wow. <sighs> now it's 2011's Red Dog. Okay. What a story. And I apologize. I know I shouldn't apologize or whatever, but those emotions just came out. I just started thinking about my dogs that have passed away, like just growing up. I've, we've always been a dog family. I never had cats until recently, but it does put those memories and those moments 
in your mind when you really do connect with your animals when they are passing, you know, especially dogs. I mean, this is a dog movie. So I put myself back once again in those flashback memories that I had from my real life and my real past. And yeah, I, I got all those feelings because I was there in the moments of my dogs dying, you know, and it's a very, very, very sad experience, but it never outweighs the joys that I've gotten to be, you know, with those loving family members. They are family members, you know, at the end of the day, whether that's only a few years, whether that's a full 15 years or whatever, you know, however long your loving pets do stay with you, they are always happy moments, man. They should always at least be happy moments. I mean, I know that they can be hell beasts from time to time, but just know at the end of the day, they love you and they know that you gave them an awesome, awesome life, an awesome home, and they would be nothing without you, you know? So, man, I didn't think I would connect with a movie like this. You know, this was just something random that I threw on. It's on Tubi, by the way. Definitely check it out on Tubi. Came out in 2011 about the true life story of Red Dog in Australia. I believe they said North west australia i'll definitely have to look up the story after this and um my gosh uh so okay let's get into it man we had a colorful eclectic funny yet very very realistic bunch of casts that we got just kind of thrown at us i mean when you're kind of set in this small community you spend a little bit of time with everyone. Some characters more than others, but I got the gist of the town and some of the characters that, you know, either immigrated to there or that were born and raised there, but everyone kind of had their own story and we got a little bit of back lore and how it all intertwined with Red Dog. And we kind of start at the end of the film when Red Dog is sick, which then we hear this beautiful story of how Red Dog inserted himself into each one of their lives, which brought them together as a community. And at the end, you know, Red Dog hears all this joy, all of this music. And he says, you know what? My time is like, my time is up. I did my job. I brought everybody together. You know, this is kind of like Almost like what I was, my purpose. This is like my dog purpose. And I'm happy with moving on to the next chapter, which is death. And as weird and as morbid as it may sound, it was really beautifully conveyed. And uh, like I said, this is a PG movie that I didn't think that I would like whatsoever. But man, colorful cast. The emotion was just all up and down for me. I'm laughing one moment, then I'm bawling and sobbing like I've never, like it, it just came out of me. Like something, like a lightning bolt of emotion just hit me. And when a movie can do that, it's executed so well. The directing, the shots, and just the feeling and the soundtrack. I got to mention the soundtrack because that hit right away. That was something that I definitely did not want to forget about talking about. Great soundtrack from the 70s. My God, music is universal. And it had an amazing soundtrack. And it really hit on all cylinders. Could have done without the whole red cat, <laughs> red dog fight scene at the end. I mean, it was a little bit silly and stuff like that. Do we know if that happened? I mean, now that we know it's based on a true story, or at least I do, I want to know what was factual, what was more fabricated, you know, because even with based on, you know, true life stories or, or movies or, or books or whatever, things can be fabricated and, and, and things get changed around for Hollywood's sake. And either way, it was very entertaining, emotional once again. And I think the reason why I'm giving this a higher score than I thought I initially would is because of how engaged with everything I was. It didn't matter. It was just a dog running. It was more than that, you know? And this community really loved this animal so much that it erected a statue of Red Dog, which it says it's still there to this day. And that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. So Red Cat, Red Dog fight scene aside, I really had an enjoyable time with this movie. And because of the long lasting impression I'm going to get from this, I believe, I'm giving 2011's Red Dog a solid five out of five, man. I cannot believe I'm saying that about a movie I have never heard of. <laughs> a story I have never heard of. Those are sometimes the best ones, though. 
the ones that can surprise you and really kick you in the ass with the emotion. My God, if you want to feel something, Red Dog. Red Dog. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> All right, Talkers, what did you think of Red Dog? Did it hit you in the feels like it hit me? Please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys did appreciate mine, please let me know once again. And thank you so much, JT, for this month's pick. Red Dog from 2011, man. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I could not have ever been prepared for something like this. So thank you once again, my friend. And if you guys did want to join in the next Patreon pick, make sure to check out my Patreon in the last week of each month where we do pick two movies to watch for the following month. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. I'm gone. Peace.